Welcome to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. Hi, everybody. I have a funny story to tell you. When I was growing up, I would travel a lot with my parents, and they loved to go all over the place, um, but they weren't very good at looking at maps, and sometimes they'd get lost, and sometimes they'd have to pull over to the side of the road and go to a gas station or whatever and ask the guy, where is this place located? And the guy would give these intricate directions. You turn here, you turn left, you turn right. Um, once you do that, you, here's the famous words, you can't miss it. <laughs> Nine times out of 10, and I was listening to my parents would get lost. And oh my goodness, would my dad get so mad? <laughs> Especially if my mom was trying to direct him. <laughs> As I think about it, I laugh still. Okay. Um, and I was the same way. You know, I started driving. I was pretty good at reading maps because I love geography. But sometimes I'd get lost because the maps weren't exactly clear. But now we have oh, GPS. <laughs> And Jeep, turn right at the next corner. In a mile, you'll turn left. Or whatever it is, I love it. And 99 times out of 100, it gets us exactly to where we want to go. GPS is awesome. <laughs> now, we, we come to this text. In Matthew chapter 2, verses 9 and 10. And remember the wise men? have been told by Herod, you know, to go and worship Jesus and all that. So we pick it up in verse 9. After listening to the king, they went on their way, and behold, the star that they had seen when it rose went before them until it came to rest over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. So in other words, we talked about this before. The, the star was a special manifestation that in place, maybe just a, a hundred or 200 feet above the ground, they walked out where Herod was. They followed the star. It led them exactly to the place where Jesus was. Oh, there it is. This is a place. And they had been traveling for months, maybe a couple years. Oh my goodness, were they overjoyed. We found him. This is it. This is Jesus. We've come to worship him. How cool is this? Now, big question I have for you is, why was the Bible given? And sometimes people say, well, the Bible was given so that we have a rule book for life. Well, yes. The Bible was given to convict us of sin. Well, yes. But the primary reason the Bible was given, like a star, was to lead us to the cradle, cross, and empty tomb of Jesus Christ. So when we read the Bible and it points us to Jesus, it tells us the way of salvation. And what is the way of salvation? And I share this in just about every message. We are sinners. We can't save ourselves. Jesus lived, died, and rose again so that we can have our sins forgiven and go to heaven. And how do we receive that? By repenting of our sin. I'm sorry for my sin and putting our trust in Jesus Christ. This is the roadmap. This is GPS. This is GPS extraordinaire because it leads us to Jesus. So what's the practical application? Follow the star. <laughs> Follow the Bible. It leads you to Jesus. It's the GPS for life. And yes, it's a rule book. And yes, it tells us how to live. And it tells us about marriage and relationships and how to forgive one another from the heart. But the primary purpose of the Bible is to lead us to Jesus. Read it, mark it, learn it, and inwardly digest it. And if these little devotions help you do that, then keep watching. I love what I'm doing. I hope you're enjoying it too. God bless you. That is today's Daily Truth. And have a great day in Jesus Christ. Thank you for listening to Daily Truth with Dave Allman. Please like and subscribe. And if led, donate to this ministry. It is greatly appreciated.